Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 19th, and I have 12 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing is this Johnny Bench bat. I went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit. I got this last Friday in that big bulk buy from Forest. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is a video game, an A31. Sold a couple of them actually, so I'm just going to bring this whole box over. Let's see, first thing that sold is NCAA Football 14. If you guys don't know about this game, definitely keep an eye out for it. That sold for $139.99, free shipping. Also sold Cardia, The Word of Fate for PS1. The case was cracked, unfortunately, so it kind of hurt the value, but still sold for $54.99, free shipping. Next is uh, Maximo Army of Zen, disc only. That sold for $16.99, free shipping. And the last game I'm pulling out of here, oh wait, there's two more. Let's see. Threads of Fate, disc only for PS1, that sold for $29.99, free shipping. And a Game Gear game, um, Simpsons Bart vs. Space, Space Mutants for Game Gear, that sold for $12.99, free shipping. Your name Alex got this. Thanks for the support, Alex. Alright, next thing I'm shipping out is a diecast car on E3. Let's see, it is a John Deere, I think I see it right down here. It's Chad Little and it's a Cruise Choice diecast. I have quite a few of these. Um, it's pretty neat where like the top of the car comes off you can see underneath it and everything that's sold for $24.99 plus shipping next is a lot of horror VHS tapes right down here there's a total of 20 of them I normally don't mess with VHS tapes but horror seemed to do pretty well I did an auction with these starting at 99 cents and they sold for $22.50 plus shipping next thing's over here in A8 this is a little piece I got in part of that bulk buy last week it's a little creamer from the Atlanta Exposition um, in 1895. It has Annie written on it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an E42. It is a PlayStation 3 controller. Something I got from the Bitcoin resellers. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing's right up here. It is this KO Propo EX5 RC remote control. Got this at a thrift store. I guess it's been a little over a month ago when I was with Ben from the Ready Set Resale channel. I paid ten dollars for this. It sold for thirty-four ninety-nine plus shipping. Last thing we're pulling is a pair of salt and pepper shakers right here. Pillsbury Doughboy. This is also something I got in that buy from Forest. These sold for seventeen ninety-nine plus shipping. And if you were named Adrian, got those. Adrian, thank you for the support. Hope you like those shakers. All right, guys, I just got back from the post office. I dropped off all of my eBay packages, and I had this waiting for me in my P.O. box. I know what it is. This is a big box of stuff that I bought from a guy named Sean, who I bought some stuff from before in the past. I paid him $150, so I'm going to pull all this out and show you guys what I got. All right. There's a lot of smalls in here. First up, we've got a Michael Jordan starting lineup figure. Typically, starting lineup figures are not worth a ton of money, usually like three, four dollars each. But this one, since it's an old Jordan, I think should bring 25 to 30 bucks. We got a LeBron James McFarlane figure when he was on the Miami Heat. Here's a cool vintage superhero bag. Got Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, Robin. That's pretty neat. There's some kind of mask. I have no idea what that is, but that's kind of cool looking. Got an old school Hulk Hogan figure from 94. Let's see, we've got a wacky wobbler. I don't know if it says who this is. Just a guy wearing a peace shirt. There's another Hulk Hogan from 84. Got a couple of these guys. I've seen this character before, but his name is not coming to mind let's see it's a Funko coin bank so if you guys know who this is let me know in the comments I'm really curious we got a troll guy here is a Mickey Mouse blocks vinyl it's pretty cool we've got a My Little Pony rainbow dash figure got some Star Wars stuff micro machines pro racer pack some more Star Wars micro machines this is cool. I've sold one of these before, and I can't remember the name of it, but it is a vintage Transformers toy from the 80s. 
and it looks like a boom box. How cool is that? And then obviously the head pops out and transforms into a toy. But yeah, I cannot remember the name of this one off the top of my head. Got some more Star Wars Micro Machines. I think when I looked these up, they weren't super valuable, so I might be lotting some of these together. Got some Stormtrooper bobbleheads. This is an old Disney mug. Here is a big box of cards. Let's see, we've got a sealed Star Wars Galaxy Series 2. We've got Night of the Living Dead trading cards. And then we've got, it looks like, a bunch of packs of Superman cards. There's still some gum in there. I doubt that tastes very good. These are from 1980. It's Superman 2 cards, and I think there's about 20 of them in there. And then these right here I thought were really cool. I was trying to find some kind of, like, comps for these things, and I couldn't find any. So these are press passes or some kind of, like, VIP, like, backstage passes for bands. So we've got Mother Love Bone Shine Tour All Access Pass. From 1989 uh, we've got garbage after show only backstage pass mr. bungle all access sex pistols and Alice in Chains 1993 local crew so that's really cool no idea what these are worth but anytime you find music related stuff it usually does pretty good I've got some more cards in here this is a whole box of tops 1987 still on the wax and the gum inside that you can feel all right last thing is a collegeville looney tunes bug bunny costume still in the box and that is really cool might have to hang on to this until halloween but i'm sure it'll sell eventually overall i'm really happy with the stuff i think there's going to be some money to be made you guys let me know what you think if you would have paid 150 dollars for all this stuff and sean thank you for doing business with me i really appreciate it it's Wednesday morning. I have 15 eBay orders to ship out. First two things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Uh, this is a women's Columbia jacket, something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the next thing, coincidentally, I also got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. This is an Easton Mako fast pitch softball bat. Getting a little bit closer to baseball softball season, so some of this stuff is going to start selling. This one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a belt buckle that is an E42. Let's see, right here, and I know I sold this Hulk Hogan, so I'll just go ahead and pull him too while I'm at it. I got a whole bunch of belt buckles from the uh, Piqua resellers. It's been a month or two ago, I think, and I auctioned off a few lots of them. Some of them I did individually, and this one I listed separately. It sold for $19.99 free shipping. All right, that Hulk Hogan figure, the same buyer got another Hulk Hogan figure. I just bought these as part of a big bulk a lot of stuff, so I've probably got about $10 or $15 into the pair. Same buyer got both of these for $34.98 plus shipping. Next thing's in C42. It is a knob for a gear shifter, the Hurst Promatic 2. Got this from my guy Mike with a bunch of other stuff. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Next thing is in C31. Let's move this card out of the way. I got this uh, also in that big bulk a lot of stuff that I paid $150 for. This is a 1988 Michael Jordan starting lineup figure uh, with the card. Some of these are selling upwards of $100, but those are in really good condition. Mine had a handful of condition issues, so I priced it a little cheaper. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is an E1. It is a Steve Grissom WCW car. Let's see here. I believe it is... Oh, wait a second. It's this one right here. Yep, one of 5,000 Steve Grissom. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's going out to your name, Randy. Thanks for the support, Randy. Okay, next thing is on B3. Let's see right here. This is something I picked up from Forrest last Friday. It is a Craftsman Laser Track level system with the box that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Your name Nathan got that. He says, hey John, been watching for almost a year now. Keep up the great content. Nathan, thank you for the kind words and thanks for the support. Next thing is in C32. It was also part of that big 
bulk buy I just made where I spent $150 on everything. This is Star Wars Galaxy Series 210, new in the plastic. I had a hard time coming up with a price for this because there weren't a lot of sold comps. I think I listed it for like $70 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $50 plus shipping and I accept it. Let's go and answer a guy named Steven and when he sent the offer, I can't remember if he said that he was a viewer or not. So Steven, if you're watching this, thank you for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Next thing is an E31. It's right here. This is a LeBron James McFarlane figure when he played for the Miami Heat. That sold for $22.99 plus shipping. That's good. That's a viewer named Mark. He says, I'm a full-time reseller and full-time web designer. I lost my full-time job July of last year and decided to go out on weekends to garage sales as a source. I started with $50 and bought a ton of hats from an estate sale and I never looked back since. I almost have 300 items listed, 150 in sales, and grossed over $6,000 in the last six months. That is awesome. I continue to watch your videos for inspiration and discipline to go out on weekends to source. If you wouldn't mind, would you shout out my store, SWFL Picker. Thank you, John. Mark, thank you so much for the support. Wish you nothing but the best of luck with eBay. All right, next thing is down in A5. It's in this case, it is a whole bunch of vintage Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. I got these from Mike. They weren't in great condition, but I knew they'd bring a little bit of money if I auctioned them off. So one whole side I auctioned. It was a lot of 22 cars. And then the other side I auctioned as well. That was a lot of 18 cars. So this must be the 22 cars. The 18 must be on the other side. These, this lot of 18, or I'm sorry, this lot of 22 sold for $27 plus shipping. And then the other one, the lot of 18 sold for $59 plus shipping. And one of those lots is going on of your name, Aaron. Thanks for the support, Aaron. Next thing is a bobblehead in A41. This guy right here, this is Funko Wacky Wobbler. It's Freddy. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is this bag down here. This is a vintage DC Comics bag from the 70s that I got in that book buy. Got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Robin. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a model right here on B2. Star Trek USS Enterprise. I got this from Forrest last Friday with all the other stuff I bought from him. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling is back here on this F rack. So let's move this one out of the way. It is Carhartt pants. And it is the last pair that I have. I got probably like seven or eight pair of these from Kevin, the Tennessee picker, and they have sold really fast. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.